I'm painting a really fun painting today and I'm very excited. Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm an artist based in Melbourne, Australia. So excited to have you here. Welcome if you're new and hello and welcome back if you're a regular subscriber. So good to see you. I am making this artwork today for your hungry little greedy eyes. I can't wait to show it to you. I had a really, really good time painting it. So I asked my Instagram followers a question and that question was color question <laughs> mark. I wanted to hear your questions on color for me or any thoughts or musings you had on on color. I got a lot of questions about how do I pick my colors? How do I choose my colors? How do I know what colors to use? Most of the questions were along those lines. I had some fun. Uh, what are your favorite color palettes? Tell me like weird ones. Give me ugly color palettes. A lot of color palette fun questions. And a couple of questions were also about intuition versus knowledge of actual color theory. What do I use? What do I have? How do I do that? <laughs> So I thought we could just like dive in and talk about colors. But before we do that, really quickly, I just wanted to talk about the mediums, materials I'm using for this painting. So I'm using acrylic gouache by the brand Holbein, which is my absolute favorite kind of acrylic gouache at the moment. I've only tried two brands um, and this is my favorite. I love it. Um, and I'm painting on a lovely 350 GSM watercolor paper by Fabriano. Just simple watercolor paper, nothing too fancy or whatever. And the idea behind this piece is I just wanted to paint some flowers in a kind of loose abstracty kind of way. Um, and lately I've been making all of these color palettes and color swatches. Last week I had a day where I didn't want to come up with any ideas, but I also wanted to paint. So I spent the day making all of these color swatches and color pages and just playing with color and shape and if you look up close they're kind of messy but I just wanted to play with color because color is one of my favorite things ever. I love an excess amount of color in my artworks if you haven't already noticed. So I kind of wanted to integrate those paintings that I've been doing over the last couple of days into this one as like a background slash tablecloth, just like an explosion of color for your eyes and for your brain. <laughs> I've been making a lot of works with like quilt, quilty vibes. I've talked about this before in past videos as well. So it comes, that comes with it as well. So, you know, colors, quilts, flowers, all the good things. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with the question, um, how much intuition do you use when picking colors versus knowing uh, color theory, using color theory knowledge? I'm, mm, let's be honest, <laughs> I don't really know much about color theory. I don't, I think I just learned, you know, the basics in primary school and high school. I, yeah, I don't know the science behind anything like that. So pretty much the entirety of my color knowledge and color use is based in my own intuition and just like a lot of trial and error I think I've just always been someone who has loved colors and loved putting color palettes together back in the day in our first computers using MS paint I remember changing all the colors um, and playing with like different color combinations there making little shapes similar to what I've been doing here like with different checkerboard backgrounds or triangles and stuff and just smooshing them all together with all these different colors and just having fun with rainbows and greens only or blues only or whatever I feel like it was a lot of self-exploration when I was a kid when it comes to color. So I just like went for it and made color palettes. Also when I got a bit older, when I started getting into Photoshop and that sort of thing. So when I was a late teen, I had a whole folder which I dedicated to different color palettes that I had put together 
on Photoshop. And sometimes I would look at other artworks, like other masters paintings or like kids books paintings or whatever, and check out what color palettes they were using and try to like incorporate them into my own works. So that was a good way to learn without necessarily realizing it was color theory, I guess, just by learning by doing and learning by copying other people's color palettes. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the truth of the matter. A lot of it is, is just intuition and I don't know, it's just something that I've come to understand, or maybe I just understand it, understand color combos naturally, maybe, I don't even know. I don't know. I just, I feel like I just get it. I don't have to think too much about what colors go well with other colors. So I guess that leads on to the question, how do I choose my colors? How do I decide which colors work together for me? How do I use so many colors and manage to have like a co cohesive look? I don't know. There was a good question here as well that's also kind of linked. Uh, do you ever pick certain colors to help your artworks communicate certain emotions or feelings? Maybe we can start with that because yes, definitely. Definitely, definitely. You know, some days I might be feeling, I don't know, nostalgic, which makes me feel like I want to go oranges, warms, that sort of thing. Or yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is something like I don't think about too often because I just go off my intuition so heavily. I might just one day be like, I'm going to use a lot of greens today. I feel like using greens and then I'll just start and kind of see what journey it takes me on. Sometimes I will start using green and then it won't feel good and then I'll start merging into more yellows or more pinks or whatever. Like it'll, it kind of just, my process just goes with the flow a lot of the time. So with this piece in particular, so so the, the bulk of the flowers are green um, and gold flowers. So I wanted a lot of my outside patternsy stuff to be um, complementary to greens or at least uh, pop them out a bit more so I did a lot of purples um, and like icy blues and golds and oranges and that sort of thing which is the opposite on the color wheel to green oranges and greens um, just so that the greens didn't get lost in more greens and if I was using green <laughs> I'm saying green a lot if I was using green they wouldn't be directly touching any of the leaves or any of the flowers or anything like that another thing that helps me choose colors is the rhythm of the artwork how the artwork moves your eye around the page. I like to have uh, different colors dancing around the screen. So if I'm using blue down here, I'll put blue up there and maybe a little bit up there, up even higher again. So you're kind of like zigzagging across the screen. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, a lot of my color choices are informed by what just goes down first. Um, and then I just sort of ride that wild wind. <laughs> Um, how do you mix your colors? What paints do you use and do you plan digitally before mixing? I just mix my colors with whatever colors I have. I just mix them and I think I'm pretty good at color matching. So if I do need to go back to a certain color, it's not difficult for me to be able to mix that color again. My palette just gets quite messy and it gets quite dirty sometimes. I just mix on top of everything else. There's no planning. <laughs> There's no planning involved whatsoever. Oh, one thing I do love is weird color combos. I love playing with stuff that looks like it doesn't work, but then I like making it work. It's a really fun challenge for me. But yeah, like sometimes I'll, I'll play random color palette games with myself. And I also do this for my patrons every so often. There's multiple art prompt days that I have on my Patreon page where I ask people to, people to swatch all their colors and then just randomly pull three or four out of the hat and try and make it work. Love that. Someone asked really quickly which color combinations I don't like or which color combinations I hate the most. And 
I actually find red a really difficult one to get into. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but not many of my artworks feature red in a heavy way. I don't know. I just, I haven't really, red hasn't really, I, I wear a lot of red, but red just hasn't really become part of my regular palette. I don't hate it. I love the color red, but it's just, yeah, I find it hard or I just don't naturally go to reds necessarily unless they're like more of a fuchsia or in the pink realms I guess hmm. yeah there we go just a little chat about color and some of just some insight into how I use it to sum it all up I don't know what I'm doing I'm just playing <laughs> So this artwork is going to be this month's Patreon reward and you get a double sided mini print which is so cute. The back of it is like the workings out and sketches and stuff in my sketchbook to lead me to the final artwork. And there's a matching sticker and it looks so cute. I'm so excited to send them all out to you. So if you want these goodies, sign up within the month of August 2023. Check it out. Orange bird tier deliciousness. Thank you so much for watching this little video. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like the artwork. Please tell me your favorite color combos in the description below. And one final thing before I go, biggest rainbow squishy hugs to my patrons. You make my heart sparkle. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Bye.